We're here today in Greenville County, South Carolina. Behind me is the Reedy River. Uh, the Reedy River watershed makes up about 200 square miles uh, within Greenville County. And Greenville County is one of, of really thousands of communities around the country uh, that are now subject to having their own uh, NPDES stormwater permits. Uh, as part of the county's permit, they're required to do ambient and stormwater monitoring. And the county is, is meeting that objective with some of the equipment that you see here. Um, the, the county is using a number of sensors, both to measure uh, stage, the flood stage, as well as a number of water quality parameters. Um, in addition, uh, we have a cellular modem and a data logger here that allows us to transmit that data to a dedicated website uh, where we can restrict access, where anybody can, can then go in and, and see kind of what's going on. So the, one of the real advantages there is actually seeing what happens uh, as it happens and being able to react if there's some type of uh, suspect discharge, but also to get really high quality uh, data to actually try to project annual types of pollutant loads uh, in this waterway. Uh, one, of the, one of the real objectives or one of the real benefits here is that this kind of replaces a, a more traditional approach where you would go out and take a manual grab sample. Uh, in those instances you usually are, are, are waiting two to three weeks to get results and it's just hard to actually re react uh, uh, to some type of potential discharge that, that really shouldn't be there. Wolpert can replicate the successes that we've had in Greenville County, South Carolina for other municipalities and counties and build a, a data set to meet both NPDES permit requirements and to implement or challenge total maximum daily loads.